Chad Guff from Buck Hill. Hope you guys are doing awesome. I know I am because I'm out here at Weekly Wheels, the weekly car and bike meets hosted at Buck Hill every single Wednesday until September 14th. Today is Wednesday, August 3rd. It is another beautiful day. The parking lot is absolutely packed with beautiful cars, trucks, and of course, bikes. Uh, we're gonna take a peek at a wonderful 1992 Nissan 240SX. We're gonna go eat some ribs. We're gonna have a one hell of a good time here at Buck Hill for the Weekly Wheels. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. You're welcome. Now, you've been coming to the Weekly Wheels car, car Bike Meets. You started coming last year, right? Yeah, last year's when I started coming. Do you come every week? Exactly. Every single week, I come here every Wednesday. Yes, guy. Appreciate, appreciate you. Definitely love coming out here. Yeah. Uh, now, what, tell me this, though. Like, this is a really unique car. It's got a lot of really unique components. Yeah. How did you come about owning the, the 240. So basically it all started with drifting. That's how it all started. Um, I'm actually from California, so my sister and her boyfriend, they all got into the drifting scene. Um, and I would go out there with them, and I, you know, I've always wanted a 240. So ever since then, I always go online, search up a 240, see if I can find one. Um, I did find one, it was a piece of crap. Um, I'm happy the guy backed out on it, so I never got that car. And then uh, a couple weeks later, this one popped up. Okay. And it was exactly everything I wanted. The car modified wonder body kit on it. Um, SR20 engines already in it. Right. Exactly what I wanted. Something that's already drift ready. Awesome. So that's exactly what I got. Now you you race too. Yeah. You drift. Yes. And you have a kind of a history with something happening to this yeah, car. Yeah. What 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 happened? All right. So I took it out to Brainerd in 2020 or 2020, I think it was. It's kind of when COVID started. It's going down. You know. Uh, people are going out again. Um, took it to Brainerd for Proving Grounds, which, is, which was a huge drift event there. Um, went through like half the day, you know, cars feeling great, you know, everyone's having fun, and I'm having fun drifting this thing. Um, and then finally, towards like one of the last sessions of the day, I went out there for one of my last runs. And the car felt kind of weird, but you know, maybe I thought it was the driver, it wasn't me, or it was, I thought it was the driver, you know, maybe the car's fine. <laughs> yeah. um, we got into one of the very last corners, which actually hugs one of the barriers there, and the rear end would not kick out. And the car understeered right into the wall. Couldn't oh, stop no. or anything. Oh wow! But yeah. well, you have it here, so exactly. Yeah. It took a couple of years to get it, get it back and up and running. Yep. Again. Yep. Cool. So we got all the body work done. This is actually the same exact body kit that was in the crash. So we did all the body work on it, bondo, resin, and we were able to get it all back to normal. Wow. Um, and then the guy that painted it, we contacted him and said, "Hey, can you paint match it for us?" Uh, to the point where we don't have to blend it anymore. So yeah, I can do it for you guys exactly. Oh, that's so, awesome. Exactly, yeah. The, the, front, the front end on this is, is quite a bit different than what you normally find. Yeah. Why, why is that? Yep, so this is a S15 front end. Um, they only came in Japan and Australia. Okay. We never have them in the States. Sure. Um, chassis are basically the same. They're all S chassis. So they all fit up exactly the same. They're about the same specs. Um, so front end, the whole front end is an S15 front end. Oh, that's awesome. Exactly. That's yeah. Awesome. Thank you. So what? So what makes it a drift car, though? You know, for all those people that are, that are out there watch, watching the vids, and right? Like, the, the term drifting comes up in the car world, right. uh, car community quite a bit. Uh, for you, what? What in the community? What really makes a drift car a drift car? So that one's a lot of people ask that question all the time. Um, what makes the drift car? You basically need a rear-wheel drive car for one thing. That's the number one thing you need. Um, Number two is enough power to be able to spin your wheels. If you got that, I so said you got Miatas, they can do it because their car's so light. Yes. Um, that, you know, whatever the 100 horsepower, whether they're yeah. around, yeah. that's enough. So, rear wheel drive, enough power to spin your wheels, yeah. and basically a manual. 
You don't need an e-brake or anything. If you can clutch kick it, break the rear wheels, you got a drift car there. Nice. Yep. Oh, that's fun. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Uh, so what makes your 240 different than the other ones that are out there and then a right. lot of the other cars that you'll find at shows and meets like weekly we Right. Um, so 240s, no, there's so many different combinations you can do with 240s. Different front ends. You can do S15 front end like mine. You can do an S14 front end. You can do the pop-up headlights front end. Um, there's just so many combinations that you can do, which makes everyone's 240 different here. Uh, like mine, mine is the S15 front end. Um, car modified wonder body kit from Japan. Not many people run it just because of the price of it and the importing fees and all that. Um, and then what makes it different from all the cars is camber. You know, people always ask me the question, why is your front wheels cambered in like that? You know, well, you, why you need an alignment for drifting. Uh -huh. So people don't know that when you go full lock into into like a drift, your wheels actually rotate when you turn them. Oh, wow. So actually when you're in full drift, your wheels are actually fully uh, full contact in the front. Right. Yep. Wow. That's so cool. more traction in the front, that's basically why most people do it. Oh, that's cool. Exactly. What, what's your favorite thing about driving the 240? People looking at it. Oh yeah, it's, it's people yeah. breaking their heads all the time. You know, not many people see this car. Like, oh, what is that? Right. You know, they don't know it's a Nissan. They don't know what it is. So that's oh, why yeah. I love that about it. You know, uh, everyone's cool. looking at it. So. Oh, uh, I, I really love it. I love I love the colorway. Thank you. Uh, the interior is top notch. Thank too. you. That's a lot of fun. Right, right. So stuff that you can come out here and that you've been coming out here. Yeah, and then definitely. We've been, you were able to showcase your car. For sure. This week. Thank you. Hey, thank, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Cheers. you do a car meet. Again, we do these every single Wednesday at Buck Hill until September 14th. And of course, we couldn't do these meets without our wonderful event partners. I want to give a huge shout out, of course, to the Lakeville Harley Davidson, Twin Cities Harley Davidson. Uh, we have Blackfire Creative, QA1 O'Reilly Auto Parts. We have a Special Ed Custom Auto, uh, Motorcycle Audio, and of course, Allstate Auto Insurance and Agent Dan Spiegel. Uh, these meets are a, a lot of fun. Even if you don't have a car, a truck, or a bike, come on out to Buck Hill, enjoy some delicious food at Buck 54 Bar and Grill, and see these wonderful vehicles. Thanks so much. Hopefully, we'll see you next Wednesday. Peace.